and that child was me, myself. My entire life was a struggle for my parents. Still it is. Trust me, still it is. No joke. So, they didn't get, give up on me. At the age of only one year old, I went under a major hip joint surgery in my leg. My mom didn't give up on me that time. She brought me home. She took single massage every day. And one day, I started to walk like a normal child. From that very first step to this ground, to this beautiful art, my journey to began to life. I wasn't born with a golden spoon, neither I belong to a very damn rich family. But you know, as I grow up older, human minds have always wild imaginations. And I was no exception of that. From my very childhood, I was started thinking like I will be very rich one day, I will have million, million, millions of dollars in my hand, I will travel the whole world and whatnot. But there was one teeny tiny problem actually. I wanted to get everything done served in a silver platter. But life wasn't supposed to be like that. It was way more than struggle, way more than pain. <clears throat> I started my first lesson, I started to learn my first lesson from my mama in my very first childhood in terms of not getting things so easily. Now, let me see the hands. You ha already have weird mamas at home. No one? Mm -hmm. Okay, three or four. Trust me, my mama is the weirdest one. Let me see, give some examples. Mama, mama, can I have a pet? How many times I have told you a dog cannot tame another? Mama, mama, can I go for an excursion with my friends? You can go wherever you want, but only after your marriage with your husband. <laughs> mama, mama, uh, you know, my exam is knocking at the door. Uh, I need to stay over at my friend's place for group study. Tell her parents to adopt you as well. So obviously, I was very upset with her. I was tired of listening no and no and no, and it made me so stubborn that I am allergic to hearing no. At the age of only 14, I can still remember, I was about to jump from the roof. That was a dangerous thing to do. But I lost my sense. I was outraged and burst into the anger with my parents for some reasons. And my parents thought I had some mental disorders and they took me to my mental counselor. And that doctor, wow, that doctor was a whole piece of crap. I don't know what does he think of himself. He just started threatening me and told me, I will give you electric shocks if you do the, do the same things again. Oh my God. Trust me, there was no escalation of violence over there. But electric shocks, seriously, who gives electric shocks for such some tiny little things? Okay. I don't know how to say this, but I had nothing to do with the doctor. I didn't have to go to the follow-up checkups again. Ask me why. Why? Because after the first visit of that doctor, he died of a sudden heart attack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to express it. I'm sorry. At the same time, I felt guilty for him, and I was relieved <laughs> that I had no electric shots for the lifetime again. Yeah. So now, here comes the most challenging part for any Bangladeshi kid. Welcome to the admission battlefield. As I wasn't much serious about my life, I failed miserably. That day, I saw my mom's tears in her eyes. My strong mama was crying out of shame. Maybe she was doubting her upbringings. I went to my dad for suggestions. No, my dad was a very cool one. She, sorry, he shook my neck and cheered me up saying, you know what, child? You are a very bad combination of your mama. You are at the same time super hyper and super emotional and you give 
give up so easily. Why is that? Never stop learning. Explore. Keep exploring. You can explore whatever you want to. Just find back something in you. And remember, while you are doing this, people will might bully you, might taunt you saying, what do you think you are? Just reply them back with a broader smile. Confident, yet humble. Someone better than yesterday. But someone you haven't met yet. Over to you.